Where's yours? Uh, right, I saw it in my bag. Half a cup of warm water, four teaspoons of corn syrup, <laughs> one, tablespoon of uh, one tablespoon of powdered cocoa, and one tablespoon of red food colouring. Lovely, let's see. <laughs> Consistency, it was, it was alright. It was a lot. Um, it wasn't that good, to be honest. It didn't really stick. The, the colour was, it was alright, not really the best again, a bit too orange more than red. Uh, the, uh, although the, splat, the splatter pattern, it was really good, it, it uh, splattered really well on her face. <laughs> Yeah. My group did gravy blurred and the ingredients were gravy granules, hot water and red food colouring. The gravy blurred, it had good colour, good consistency and a good splatter pattern but a bad taste. This is probably the one we will be using in our final production. Our group did the realistic recipe blurred um, and our ingredients were two cups of corn syrup, um, a third of a cup of warm water, five tablespoons of cornstarch, four tablespoons of red food colouring, one tablespoon of powdered cocoa and two drops of green or yellow. Okay, this is the realistic blurred. Morgan. Okay, everyone. We're looking at colour. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so again. Oh, that's wonderful. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what did on the back. The realistic blood, it had a uh, good colour and good splatter pattern to it, but it had a bad taste and a bad consistency. We will probably not be using this blood in our final production. My group did the peanut butter edible blood. It had peanut butter in, corn syrup, red food colour in, and we also added chocolate sauce at the end. <laughs> the peanut butter blood had good colour, good taste, but a really bad uh, splatter pattern and consistency. But we will probably use it to add small details in our blood rather than the whole thing.